Well, I picked this joker up at 2 a.m. in the morning just so we could hang out, just so he could sleep in his own bed. How are you, my friend? Hey, Joster. I was thinking, you know, we've had a pretty hectic week. Hi. I was thinking, let's go to Tailwaggers. You know, it's just your average, typical, beautiful, sunny, palm tree filled sky. Nothing too exciting. We're gonna do an early morning trip over to Tailwaggers. Well, I actually have my day tonight and we're gonna be doing quite a few Halloween things. I don't know if I'm gonna film anything. I actually haven't mentioned it to her. She knows I do this and she was cool with it before, but um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film some of the Halloween stuff we're doing tonight. So I might go do something today uh, just in case. I don't know. It's been a pretty hectic week for me, so I kinda wanna take it chill today. Oh wow, look at that. Good job, Tailwaggers. Classic. Eh, that dangling wire couldn't be a, that couldn't be a problem, could it? Nah. So guys, actually, I got to take a day off of vlogging yesterday. Since you know this week that I ended up doing like quite a bit of work, that one day I um, did all that vlogging with Orlando and then Sam Tripoli um, asked me or hired me to go out and film some of the ice house. I also vlog that. So what that allowed me to do since I had to work so much this weekend is it allowed me to offset my vlogs. And um, yesterday I actually went and worked in Ojai so I didn't film anything at all. But it gave me an idea because the reason I didn't do it was I, I was like there's actually nothing that I'll be able to show but it gave me an idea for the future. The next time I work out there how I'm going to do a vlog. So your old pal Jordan the Lion kind of got a day off of filming yesterday even though I was working literally from I got to the kitchen to leave for the catering gig at 12 o'clock and I didn't get home until 2 a.m. So I literally worked all day but I didn't have to film anything. Um, if you want to see what I saw on Ojai, I actually posted that on my Instagram, Jordan the Lion. Um, so yeah, give me some ideas. And since I couldn't film anything inside Green Acres and it was a beautiful estate, I actually heard from a few people that I work with, they're like, oh yeah, we've worked this estate a couple of times before, so maybe I'll be able to do it in the future. But since so many people were interested in um, the whole Harold Lloyd aspect, I think this week um, I'm going to do some sort of Harold Lloyd vlog. I have an idea and maybe we'll go do that early in the week. These faces are all over the neighborhood, all over town on the ground. I don't know what they're for. And I actually met one of the florists last night at the uh, wedding who was telling me she's from Warsaw, Poland. And so I was asking her questions about if I were to go to Poland where I should go and she gave me some pretty good tips. Like I said the other day, I don't think I'm gonna get to go anywhere anytime in like the immediate future, unfortunately, but if I end up deciding to sell a few things and go somewhere, I have like four or five places on my short list of places I wanna go and I actually kinda wanna go because I want to see them in the winter time. Normally most people I think don't want to travel during the winter because it's cold, but there's a few cities I'd actually kind of like to see in the cold, so. I wonder how long you have to work there to get that. I don't think Breck has one of those. Free picture frame and one flipper. Vibe Hotel, retro funky cool. So a guy I work with who I do those uh, catering events with, he was telling me last night, he's been to the Magic Castle before and he said, yeah, if you go, during Halloween, they deck it out all Halloween, you know, and then if you go near Christmas, they do it Christmas. I hadn't even thought about that, so I think I'll, maybe I'll wait until closer to Christmas. I'd rather that kind of experience, I think. So I think today we're gonna take a long walk all the way to what I consider to be the edge of Hollywood, all the way out to La Brea. I'm gonna show you something over there. I don't know exactly what the name of what we're gonna go see is specifically, but I always call it the uh, platinum woman of the silver screen. Poor John Raitt. There's a couple of space invaders on that corner up there. Oh, reminds me of Budapest. Not quite as cheap as Budapest. And this magnificent structure is the Ripley's. Obviously. And 
and look who's leading the charge across the street once again. The perverted Batman that keeps telling all the women he loves them behind me. Oh, there's Minnie Mouse. This guy stole my hat. I've seen some crazy Hollywood Batmans in my time out here, but he was definitely the craziest. All right, we're getting close. We're right across from the uh, Chinese theater. This spells trouble. And there's the Madame Tussauds that we just vlogged. Only in Hollywood. Spider-Man taking Superman in a tourist photo. Only in Hollywood, baby. Well, like I said, I don't know what the exact name of this is, but I have always called it the Platinum Woman of the Silver Screen. And what this is, is kind of like a little monument, kind of a Art Deco-ish tower looking thing here. With all kinds of little details. You can see the little uh, little film camera right up there in the corner. Then right at the top, it's actually Marilyn Monroe. Kind of like the topping on a Christmas tree. But what they did going around this um, is four different women. And I'm gonna show you who they are. Um, this one right here, and they actually represent all of the, kind of like the nationalities of the film industry for the early days. This one is uh, representing Anime Wong, who was the first crossover um, Asian American actress. Um, her father was actually like a laundry man, and she was born right over here kind of near Chinatown and would eventually rise up to be a pretty prominent uh, movie star, especially in the silent era. I remember her from uh, Thief of Baghdad and uh, it says from 1907 to 1961 starred in silent and talking pictures including the Thief of Baghdad and Shanghai Express. So We'll go walk around and I'll show you who else is here. Now it's kind of strange that they would also give the Beatles their star right here, as well as Elvis Presley. And if we turn around, I'm going to try and block the sun out. This is Dolores Del Rio. And this one's kind of interesting because she was um, considered one of the biggest Mexican or Latina actresses of her day, one of the most beautiful, and um, was a superstar for sure. But the reason I say it's kind of interesting is because she actually lived a block away from here, and I'm gonna vlog her house at some point here in the near future, because her house has a little bit more significance than just the fact that she lived there. Now, none of the actual resemblances of the people in these statues are spot on, but like I said, it's more of a cultural nod to Hollywood and the different nationalities and cultures that have been important in the uh, film industry. So here is uh, Dolores Del Rio. You can see right here in the archway it says Hollywood and then also going straight up and uh, you can kind of see more Maryland right there in between those palm trees. Now this one is of course the great Mae West. You can't even mention how many great movies she was in. I mean she was more known for just her extravagant interesting personality, her witty one-liners. And uh, this one says May West, 1893 to 1980. Writer and star of a string of hits including I'm No Angel, My Little Chickadee, which are some of my favorites, but then she was in Sextet, Meyer Breckenridge. Um, yeah, great. And of course I was lucky enough to get to interview her um, former assistant Tim. If you're interested in seeing that vlog, there's actually a two-parter of that. And he has quite a bit of her uh, mementos from her house, her dresses from those movies, and even her jacket from Meyer Breckenridge. Now there's one more statue here. Now like I said, they, they mainly do these four and then of course Marilyn is all the way at the top and I'll put, when we're all done, I'll put my uh, zoom lens on and I'll see if I can't tighten in on that for you a little bit. 
Now the last one is actually really interesting also because it's Dorothy Dandridge and I've been to her, her grave as well. It's mainly just her ashes in kind of a bookshelf type crypt. But she was the um, first African American actress to be nominated for a, um, an Academy Award in a starring role for best, you know, best actress in a leading role. And so they've honored her here with this statue. She seems to be one that has been kind of forgotten in Hollywood history. You never really hear much reference to her or discussion of her films or what she accomplished. So at least I guess there's this right here on the Hollywood corridor. One of the things I wanted to point out before I swap lenses, I, I really do like how on Anime Wong's dress they did the uh, design and everything. Can you see that dragon? And they did that pretty much with all of them. They all kind of have a, at least Mae West is very Mae West. I'll sh actually, you can see it from here. I'll show you the back of hers. There you go. That's about as close as I can get in there on Marilyn. So I've now surmised that the reason this is here is because this is the start of the Walk of Fame. I should have put two and two together a little before now, I guess. And for my friend Andrew Jacobs, there you go. Well, time to head back, but check out that Ferrari limo over there. That's weird. At least Minnie's behaving respectably. I want you to see what foot traffic is like around here. It could be him. So we came over to get something to eat in Burbank and I drove past this and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. It's like Ichabod Crane back there. That is so great. That is so great. Wow, all the way up to the chimneys, there's skeletons up there, There's that's so great. I didn't bring my other lens, but you guys can see it all. And there's actually one across the street, not quite as elaborate as this, but... The mouse looks like Jaw. Yeah, this is this place is great. I appreciate the strewn bones. Like, there's a torso, there's a femur, there's a foot, there's a pelvis. Oh, and we just noticed that the spider actually has a guy hanging upside down in the little webbed cocoon. It's so great. Here's a few decorations here. And then we have this one. You can see up there they have a head in a glass fishbowl kind of thing. Well, we were actually eating in the neighborhood, and so the sun went down while we were eating, and we're back to the same exact house that we were at earlier, and it's all lit up. How great is that? There's the horse. We're just kind of, we found a few addresses. Um, a few people actually in Los Angeles had sent me addresses for homemade haunted houses that people have done on their own property. So we're out checking out some of them. <laughs> oh, look at that. Ruby slippers. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Well, this is the main spot we're coming to and there's actually, I think it's kind of hard to see, but there's actually a line. Yeah. 
a guy I work with is actually telling me about this last night and he was saying that this guy starts working on this like in April. That clown car. This haunted house at these people's house is amazing. It's all interactive. They actually have multiple people jumping out at us. This is in somebody's backyard. I kid you not. Like that. This, this is probably better than the Queen Mary for what it is. This is incredible. I'm cooking Jaw some salmon, and when that bell goes off, this vlog will be over. There it is. If anybody wants to check out the um, the awesome haunted house that I saw tonight, the address is 1912 Pepper Street. They want people to come. It's only open on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so make your way out there before Halloween. It's definitely worth your trip. Thank you for watching today. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and of course, I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great night. By the way, tomorrow, it's going to be a special vlog. It's going to be a special vlog. Good night. I was sitting sticky like a good dog, drinking in the lap of my farmer after all day working. So dated, I worked all day today.